So we've got the air compressor running off the generator over there, going into the hexatronic um, blower. We're at 468 meters so far, um, and yeah, going well. About 475 meters um, down the bottom to the bottom end. I like to just get a little bit to stick out the other end, so I've got enough to work with splicing there if I want to extend the duct on the building. It does, it does slow down quite a bit once you pass 200 metres, so I'm not really pushing it very hard at the moment. What's that, about 5 metres there? Yeah, that's got about 2 metres up. Cool, yep, that'll do us. Uh, I'll cut off the air and then can you just put some tape over the end just to stop water getting in or moisture? Um, yeah. It'll take a minute for the air to come out of the pipe. Where we're going. We've got the duct buried under here with some power and water. Um, there's the opening just over there uh, with everything sort of going in like so. Um, actually, at the end of this house lot is where we're going. So, the duct runs through the gate, uh, it's just a 5x3.5 duct and we're only running a, a 2F up the hill because we're going to have a transmitter site and a fibre on top there um, with a microwave link going across to the, um, to the city over the other side of the plains there. And you can see from over here there's the um, the trench there it goes down around to um, to the wool shed there and then they've got the um, the bore and the um, sorry a bit shaky uh, they've got the bore and the um, water pump control system for the subdivision uh, down there so this um, is just so that if we ever have fibre running along the um, along the road out, out there we can just trench it from the road along to the wool shed um, and we've got a bi-directional spare fibre going up to the top as well as a bi-directional for the um, aunt that's going to go in the pump room um, and be able to see Gary and no, he might be still behind on the other side next to the pump shed. Got the quad bike there. He'll be up soon.